Sven's, well, Sven, you'll notice he's not here because he is exploring Israel right now. He was just in Jerusalem, a city where three major religions meet, civilizations were shaped by, and invaders frequently visited too. And Sven, a lot of history and conflict all surrounding this holy city, just so fascinating. Yeah, and of course, as everyone knows, and we hear about frequently in the news, still a subject of conflict even in 2019. But yeah, the last two days was in Jerusalem, visited the Dead Sea, and now last night we made our way to Tel Aviv, which is about the opposite kind of city of Jerusalem, where Jerusalem is old, ancient, uh, conservative, religious. Uh, Tel Aviv, basically the opposite of all those. It's a pretty modern city, less than 100 years old, really. That's most of the architecture was built uh, fairly recently since the 30s and beyond. And of course, it's on the beach. This is the Mediterranean. You can probably hear the waves crashing behind me. Uh, the Mediterranean Sea's easternmost extent hits, of course, uh, the Middle East or the Fertile Crescent, and then goes all the way west to uh, Spain and uh, Morocco, of course, and then further out into the Atlantic. But I was in Jerusalem last couple of days. I want to show you just a little bit of some of the interesting history and some things you maybe didn't know about the old city. Jerusalem and its vast history include the convergence of three major religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. In the old city, these religions share this holy space. To Judaism, the Western Wall, or Wailing Wall, is the holiest site since it's closest to the remains of the Second Temple. For Muslims, it's the shrine and mosque built on the same site. For Christians, it's several places, but the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is central. Emperor Constantine was the first Roman emperor to convert to Christianity. He sent his mother, Queen Helena, who was already a Christian, to try to find some holy sites to make pilgrimages to in Jerusalem. She determined, along with a few bishops, that this was the site where Jesus was crucified and buried. Turns out it was a Roman temple, though, to Jupiter and Venus. They tore that down and built the original Church of the Holy Sepulchre about 1,700 years ago. This was rebuilt, though, about 1,000 years ago, so the current structure is from the 11th century. But this, of course, is a center of hustle and bustle where people live, too. Most of the old city is a series of market stalls selling food and spices as they have for thousands of years. The vast number of tourists is a relatively modern phenomenon, but of course, visitors always came as pilgrims or invaders or crusaders. And there's even crusader graffiti. Jerusalem today is still searching for peace and quiet. And there you're looking at the Israeli flag. Uh, waving in the wind here, breezy on the sea, the, the Israeli flag. And uh, yeah, it's about 86 degrees here, dew point of 70. It's a lot different weather than Jerusalem too, because Jerusalem's higher, it's kind of in the desert. You can see probably behind me, a whole row of buildings. Think of this as like the Miami of the Middle East, all the hotels, a lot of restaurants, and of course, tons of beaches. You've got miles and miles of beaches here along the sea in Tel Aviv, Israel. So this is the fun city in the country of Israel, where all the nightlife is and uh, all the happenings are. And that's why we find you there, Sven. Yeah, I love the juxtaposition of the ancient and the new there. Just fascinating. Gotcha. Thanks for taking us along for the trip.